Hi, everyone. I'm Camille Birch. I'm a product manager on the PowerPoint team, and I'm very excited to be here with Owner to talk with you all about new selection APIs for slides, shape, and text in PowerPoint. Uh, so without further ado, I'll hand it over to Owner to take you through some explanation of these APIs and then a cool demo. Thank you very much, Camille. Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Owner, and I'm a uh, software engineer in PowerPoint team. And as Camille mentioned, we are going to talk about some selection APIs today. We want to uh, point out some of the some of the new things that we are going to give on this update. It it we can talk about like uh, the selection uh, information around the slides, where we provide the selection information on the current select slides, or the add-in can set some selected slides. Similarly, that works with shapes as well, getting this list of selected shapes or setting a set of selected shapes on the on the slide. And similarly, we will talk about the, the selected, getting the selected text range and setting a specific text range as selected. If I want to go a bit deeper, this is like the full list of APIs here. Um, but for example, uh, we can talk about the primary ones like coming from the presentation. Uh, it has the get selected slides and uh, getting get selected shapes and get selected text range on top of that. Uh, it has the ability also to set a specific set of uh, slides as selected slides. Uh, for this purpose, we had to introduce slide scope collection and shape scope collection. And uh, also for a slide, we have the ability of setting this some this the shape list or on a text range, we can set it as selected. On top of this, we wanted to provide some additional information like if you retrieve a text selection from a text range. You can also get its information like where it starts, how, how long it goes, and as well as the parent information like the parent text frame, text shape, or the parent slide on, on top of these. And the bottom ones are for the uh, shape and uh, slide scope collection information. Given that, I would like to jump to a live demo on, on these. And let me see if I can share my screen. Here, I, I created actually an add-in using Script Lab using some of these APIs, and uh, I would like to do some selection-related stuff. So the most basic one, if I just call get selected slides, I will be able to get this actual slide object, and from that I, I'm going to write output some information on that. The interesting thing about this is uh, you can also select multiple slides like this, and the first item on the uh, on this collection is the active slide that the user sees. Um, and also the imp the order is important here. So I, I chose like slide two, four, and six, and six being on the top of this list that kept the same order. So if I select five, six, and three, for example, that should also reflect into this order five, six, and three. Um, I also wrote some hard-coded values to set some specific sort of slides. So for example, I'm selecting these four slide, these three slides wherever I am, that's always the case. And to demonstrate the functionality, like we can act on the selected information, like deleting the selected slides as such. Let's undo those. Yep. Uh, I added some additional logic here, like saving a slide selection. So for example, I selected slides four and six. I say this selection, for example, I go to another slide, and if I load that slide selection, I come back to the same uh, point on the document. Uh, this goes same with the shape selections as well. So if I select a shape, I can get a collection of shapes. And again, the first one is the most active shape. The order is important. And in this one, again, I'm selecting some random shapes here, uh, hard-coded into the code. I can act on the selection, like changing the fill color, or if I like select this object as well, the field, that will also be affected. Um, I can again sa uh, save the shape selection. For example, I select saved the shape on this one, on the slide two. If I go to uh, slide five and load, it will return back to slide two with this shape selected. Even it works on the same slide as well. Uh, on top of this, let's talk about some shape selection. So if I do something like this, and uh, we can get the selected text range. I'm just outputting some properties of that here. Again, I um, did some random code like getting the fifth slide, uh, sixth slide, um, getting some substring on a specific shape, 
and what it does is it just selects that part for me. Um, again, uh, if I get the selected text range on this, I'm getting the entire text and, uh, and the other properties as well. So for example, I can change the color on the selected text. Uh, if I do something like this, I can also, again, um, save the selection here and go to another slide and come back with that part selected. Even on the same slide, I can set that selection to proper point. Um, besides this, I would like to show you some interesting stuff, not uh, too much, but uh, so for example, I created some additional code to create some shapes on this slide. And on this one, I'm going to select some of these shapes and actually arrange them in whatever order I want to arrange them. Or I can like make them like a circle around here. Uh, just to illustrate that uh, your add-ins can now uh, interact with, actually interact with the user to um, actually understand what the user wants to show you. And you can also select some uh, slides and shapes and text to actually guide the user as well. And I also would like to mention that these are now uh, available in beta and preview channels, and you can download or you can access through this link. Given that, uh, we can we are open for your feedback at any time. Thank you very much for trying these new APIs, and um, thank you. Thanks again for the opportunity. Thanks, owner. That is really cool to see all these APIs for PowerPoint coming out. <laughs>